This is typically how um, our game nights start. Lizzie's on the phone, maybe, or oh, I'm on the phone. Like no, one of us is on the phone. Or both of us are on the phone. both of us are on the phone. We've got the game on okay, the Okay, I'm doing something for work, though, so it's, it's not like true. I'm like... She's actually looking at Chromie Key paint on potentially painting our wall behind us. Because right... obviously there's a green screen behind us. This is not what's behind us. Um, no. But we have a screen, and <laughs> Derek is complaining that it's too small for him. I'm, I'm a big dude. I take up so much space and I don't want Lizzie to feel like I'm in, in you know, I don't want to be all up in your space. You don't space, want to encroach on my But area. I want to be able to sit over it. Like, I, I would feel comfortable sitting here. And having the camera further away. Leaving the camera where it's at. And just sitting here. That way I don't get cut off, right? This but is all if you're behind sitting the there, like you guys half of you is cut off. I don't understand. What? No, half of me is only cut off because of the green screen. I have, I've cropped oh, the camera. Okay, I yeah, see what I've you're saying. Yeah, I've cropped the camera. Uh -huh. So I would feel comfortable here, and you could sit, you know, there, and then we could just, you know, we have you know. our own space. Yeah, bubbles, right? <laughs> Anyways, hello. Welcome back to the Board Game Spotlight. I'm Derek. I'm Lizzie, and apparently I'm not we're doing this. like a second introduction. I'm not editing it. Like, this is our on the spot video series, which we started with Enchanted Plumes. We did. And That's this cool. is a no nonsense, literally going to open this box. We're going to learn and play it. So this has been and unwrapped. And you're going to get no I editing. Mean, you're going to get just. Have you looked at the contents yet? No. No? Oh, okay. No. It's just been unwrapped. So Cubitos from AEG. John D. Claire is our designer for this one. Here, put it behind us like you did last oh, time. Oh, like I did it's last time? Cool. I mean, it was kind of cool, wasn't it? Well, kind of worked well. a little bit like that. Um, so here is the rule book. I look in the queue. Okay, mm -hmm. so Not testing bad. the waters. Okay. The waters. So one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the game, uh, but we are not going to. Um, I'm gonna fast forward during the setup. Because I don't, I don't think that, that that's kind of boring. Well, here's the rules. Oh, that's summary. a really cool. Look at that. Oh, look, I gotta make something. Oh, you get to build stuff. Oh, this is pretty self-explanatory. I think okay. I got that. Uh, so set up. Each player chooses a color and takes the following. Okay, well, um, hang on. What? We, we haven't even got everything out yet. Chill out. You're like rushing into it. Okay. So These are cool. This has been made. <gasps> dice. Okay, we knew dice, it was a dice, dice game. Dice, baby. So. I did know it was a dice game. Okay. Ooh, these are cute. And these are little. Cubies, cube doses, cube people. Oh, they're so cute. I'm not sure how this is supposed Look to be. Look at this little cube, cube monkey. Yeah, cute monkey. What? Well, they just make boxes, I think. Well, I know, but hang on. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Let's put these things together. So here, but here. But there's like an extra bend? Is it oh, I think to... it's because it has a lid, maybe? I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. I, you guys I'm get not to watch sure how this, this works. Live. Oh, there's just probably pinches. instructions somewhere. <laughs> I think I. Do you think there's instructions on how to put the boxes together? That's probably smart. Uh, Unless, is it like... Should I look? Let's see. Well, I'm just looking. Oh, oh, you push down. Is uh, it? Look, look, look. Yeah, they make a little. It makes a little thingy. Like a pocket, like that. Yep. Well, like that. Oh, no, and I then the want... dice here. Oh, okay. you see what I'm saying? The kind dice of. fit on top of them. Mm -hmm. So like this, and then you. Well, that one's kind of. You ruined that one. Uh, me. I'm gonna blame you. How dare you? you? Should probably just like pick our color, unless are these for well, all? Well, no, dice? these are for all the dice. This is a oh. push your luck dice game. So we have to oh, put. I'm not bending it. All the, the dice right on here. Place. <laughs> Oh man, working with our okay. hands is not something that either of us can do. I will start and you will do the difficult part that I apparently cannot understand. I mean, I'm not doing super great at myself, but it kind of makes a little like bowl there. You can kind of see how it sits. Yeah, you're doing and then way those better. Those are gonna than sit me. up there. They're gonna have all the cute dice in them. Um, no worries. This is a lot of dice. This is a, a lot, lot of, of colors. Oh man. <laughs> I've heard really good things about this game, though. I know. Let's see. Ruel see and James were talking about how good it is. So, I mean, you've got to check it out. Yep, yep, yep. Mm, In this box, go. 1155. Oh, these boxes have instructions. Oh, they do? Special, special stuff. In this box, the one and the one and a foot. Hmm, interesting. 
I can't say Jimmy. that I've heard, um, I have not seen a game like come with storage boxes quite like this before. This is new for me. I'm not sure. Interesting. Okay, okay. okay. Man, that's a lot of boxes. Holy I know, cow. I'm not even done. Holy cow, that's a lot of boxes. My goodness. Oh, oh, missed that one. Bent that the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, okay. there we go. There, there. This is we like go. origami light. Oh my gosh, there's so many boxes. Mm. It's kind of like a. Nope, missed it. <laughs> there's like you got to get that like weird fold right. Oh my word. I guess, alternatively, we wouldn't have had to put these boxes together. Oh, that just... is ugly. Here, I'll fix it. There. Okay, cool. All right. So, I guess we're going to now add I'll the go. dice in there, maybe? I don't know. Okay, well, why don't we go by the Are moon? you going to be blue? I'm uh, sure you obviously, I'm going to be blue. All right, I'll be yellow. What kind of a question is that? Okay. So, we're going to get two runners in their colors. We're going to get a player board of their color. So, I need the yellow player board. Um, like this? No, I think it's these underneath, maybe. Okay, yeah. Um, Ooh, what's that? That's cool. Oh, I love the way this feels. It's like a very nice vinyl yellow. matte thing. You hear that? Yeah. Okay, so I have blue. You have that. Okay, I believe a that phase token. this is some kind of scoring. This needs to be... Oh. Wait, which one's yellow? Which one's one? Oh, that's right. Uh, the one with the yellow arrow on it. Come on. Hold on. We'll put that away. In a minute. Amateur. Oh, da, 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 da. face token. What's a face token? What is a face token? I I'm looking. Draw okay, token. So dark was... player die is black. That's you know dark what? Player die is black. I think we must have. Opened Those it. are credits. Because I'm just this. Okay. There's ones and fives. Oh, here. Back and uh, no, here's the draw not. tokens. The ones and fives go in here. So all yeah. the ones and fives are just one ones one one five five. Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Before Good we start throwing things question. in. Oh, to assemble the dice boxes, follow the steps shown on diagram page 19, or follow the link to the assembly video. Oh. Reading is hard. Uh, haha, <laughs> look, I found how Did you do to it do it this. Uh, kind of ish, yes. It tells you in to do way. the other thing first. We were doing it backwards. In a way, we got there, you know? We took the long way around, but we still found our it's way. It's all about the journey. It's the only thing that matters. It's all about that journey. Uh, cool. Seven light gray starting dice. So we're going to need a bunch of these nope, starting dice. Which I think... One, 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 five, one, one. I one, mean, I'm hoping that there's a reason I'm separating it out, but... I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Three. Here's seven dice for you. These are these dice are so cute. They're so tiny. Aww. Uh, two dark gray starting dice, which I'm assuming are these. These look dark gray to me. We get two of these. There you go. Uh, players should place their phase token next to their player board with the green roll phase side up. Uh, the phase token is. No idea. I do not see anything in here that says face token. Well, what about that short cheat sheet? Maybe. Oh, this thing? No. Oh. Okay. Mm. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's these. These are the face tokens. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So we each get one and then two go back in. Yeah. Okay. Um. I don't know if this is supposed to be like hmm? for everyone, but since just the two of us, I'm gonna do ones and one and fives and the other. And if we get to a point where like that's wrong, we'll fix it. Sure. I don't know. This is I the just first spent all the time. This is the first time we've ever played this game. So this yellow. Um. So I'm assuming that players should place their starting phase token on the different. roll phase. Players should place their starting dice in their draw zone. Okay. So starting dice in the draw zone. Uh, now this, okay, here's how this says to get placed. So it says to do this, like this, okay, just like that. And then this. 
Uh, and then we have to build the board ish, and Which then one? each of the that's dice the yellow one. is gonna have. I'm assuming that's the starting. Uh, it says nothing goes right. They're named. At the top, this they're one. named. Yeah. Cool. So then, yep. That's a really nice board, though. I love. Wow. Okay. I'm impressed. All right. So now we place our little people. Over here in the stands, I guess. We do? I'm just going by the diagram. Um, okay, hand me Okay, the... so different sets of ability cards will make the game feel different. Choose one of... Choose one... Choose from one of the card sets listed on page eight. Okay. So, let's just do... For the very first game, we're going to do race one. It says to pick up the cards. Can I see the cards, please? I suppose. Here you go. We're going to play with Smelly Cat. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> We're gonna play with rich dogs. Um, reckless cheese. I think I just saw reckless cheese somewhere. Reckless cheese. These names are amazing. Mr. Soldier. Um, I'm gonna be biting to that thumb the whole game. Rollosaurus. Rich dog. Uh, Bob <laughs> and Rock On. Oh my God! Look at all these cards that we could have chosen from for the for the. Oh my gosh! There's so much content. Oh Look at all of these dice. All right, so these should be eight cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I'm missing. One. I'm missing one. All right. So, Smelly Cat, Rich Dog, Mr. Soldier, uh, Rock On. Oh, I'm missing Dugout. All right, where's Dugout? What do you look like, Dugout? <laughs> Mike Miss, Mr. Dog, Stogie. Huh, is there a card? Oh, literally the top card. This is my life, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm sure other people have been there. Where's the ravioli? It's in the freezer. Been there, Where in the freezer? That. In the door. All right, Which so... part of the door? The bottom part. So then what we do is we kind of just set them around the around the outside. So then you'll notice that. So basically, like, we'll take these dice and we place it here and we would put this card next to it. OK, uh -huh. then we'll put Mr. Soldier here who goes with the red, the red dice. We'll go with Rich Dog. We'll put Rich Dog there. And that's the brown. Uh, then we'll put um, Smelly Cat here. White. We'll put Mr. Dugout. Orange. We'll do Bob. Blue. Um, well then we'll do this one. That's Rollosaurus. That's purple. Here. Actually. Can we do it above? Yeah, there we go. That's better. And then we'll put Reckless Cheese there. Cool. We'll put this here. Yeah. Otherwise, um, I can't see it. I'm not as tall as you. I can't see oh, it. Oh, I see what you're saying. It. That's fair. I actually really can't see it. I'll just have to ask you about it. That's fine. Here's the starting dice, though. Cool. A different starting die? I thought these were our starting die. No, no, like this starting the first player die. Well, considering I have no idea what's going on. Set up the racetrack. Players can choose a racetrack, which we've done. Nothing goes right. Place the track in the center. Place one runner figure from each player on the starting space 3B. Okay, so one of us uh, 3B, which is right here. Oh, oh, that's okay. Yep. So I'm assuming. It's a race around. So we're going this way? Yeah. We're going this way. Yeah. Are you like a lion? I think I am a lion. I'm an elephant. Uh, then place a figure from each player on the start space. Place the fan track next to the racetrack. Then place a runner figure from each player into the bleachers. So we have fans for our colors. Cute. Place the ability cards from the chosen set around the racetrack, which we've done. Mm -hmm, set mm -hmm. up the dice trays. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, make a pile of unused gray dice next to the play area. So... I guess if we need gray dice, we'll just grab them. You'll grab them and hand them to me. Sure. Sure, why not? Uh, set up token trays. There are four other boxes during the game. These boxes are designed to be used as token trays for... Uh, yeah. Place these boxes so the tray is facing up around the play area. Split roughly... Like, yeah, you did it correctly. It says just split them up. Okay. Uh, I'll just it's basically if we need it. Yeah, that's all. That's all it's for. Okay. Determine the start player. Select a player at random and place the start okay. player die. Fisticuffs. Is that what we determined from last time? I guess that's our new on uh, the spot thing. Roll the. Roll this. 
Nothing. Oh, I guess you don't have to roll it. You're just going to be the... You're going to put it in your roll zone. I don't know where your roll zone is. Isn't that up here? No, roll? Was it the one that says roll? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say yes. Uh, you were considered the start player for the round. Players are now ready to begin the game! Okay, hey. using abilities. This, we're not gonna, that, like, you could go through, like, a whole, like, tour, like, to different racetracks. Uh, dice overview, so. Tour to cube. Yeah. Okay. Um, I even got my, like, sporty clothes on. A foot means movement. Money, okay. you spend money to buy new dice, additional movement, and pay other costs. Credits, the only die that has the symbol is a starting player die. Use the symbol to gain one of the credit tokens. Unlike money, which are spent or lost at the end of the round, mm -hmm. credits can be saved, okay? Mm -hmm. Ability symbols, then we've got the different abilities, okay? okay? Um, power symbols, that's what power symbols mean. Unless otherwise stated on ability cards, the power symbol is identical to the regular ability. However, some ability cards have a special section uh, that talks about a power symbol, okay? Mm -hmm. um, cool. So, gray dice. Each player begins with seven light gray and two dark gray. Dark gray dice have a foot and a money, while the light only have money without any feet. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, light and gray dice are both considered gray. Mm -hmm. So, these are gray dice. Okay. La they have a cost of zero. Players cannot buy gray dice, but unused gray dice can be gained with certain abilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any gray dice may not be used to can accumulate in a pile somewhere on the table. Did that. Starting player die, that's what you have. The starting player die is an extra die that you roll. So yeah, it goes in your roll zone like that. Okay. Um, it does not count towards the total amount of dice you could roll that round. The start player die is always passed to the next player. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So it cannot otherwise be bought, lost, traded, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Uh, using dice, you will use the face up side of dice in your active zone. Each die can only be used once. To remember you've used a die, you can simply just turn it to a blank. Dice typically gain you money and movement. Mm -hmm. Or movement. Okay. Some abilities some abilities refer to active dice. All your dice in your active zone are considered active. Unless they are showing a symbol. Oh, regardless if they're symbol or blank. Like if it's in your active, it's considered active. Got it. All right, so these abilities on each of the cards. You've got the cost to purchase in the top right. Mm -hmm. You have the ability. Uh, on what the symbol on the die does when you use it, okay? Then you have dice sides. So it's telling you there are only two hits out of six, three hits out of six. So you can see you got like your probability odds, mm -hmm. which is super awesome. I really like that. That is cool. Um, now abilities are used immediately after the die with the ability symbol is placed in your active zone. If multiple now abilities, I'm not sure what a now ability says, but maybe if it like says now, um, no, none of them say now. None of them say now? Okay, well then we don't need to worry about that. Uh, active. Active abilities are used as the ability instructs. Run. Run abilities can be used only during the run phase. Um, hey. Mm-hmm. Now. Run. Oh, there you go. Active. There you go. So there is a run, so there's a roll, well, you just flip it, there's a roll, roll in a run phase. So you just well, flip that back Well, the other one from in there, we can have both. Well, no, I think it's actually meant so that you flip it to uh, know what phase Like one, two, three. Yeah, I think it actually does. Four, five, six, seven. That makes sense. Otherwise, yeah. yes, I would agree with you. Cool. How to play the game. Now we're getting to it. All right, so players complete the phase at the same time. During the roll phase, you must complete the following steps in order. Draw. Move dice from your draw yes. zone to your roll zone until... The number of dice in your roll is equal to your draw amount. You start at nine. So you have you can you can have nine ah, to start with. So this with. is what's gonna add mm -hmm. plus one. Gotcha. You may choose which dice to draw. Your roll zone is the table space uh, above your player board. So I mean just roll. Uh, you may you will usually start each round with some dice already in your roll zone left there from a prior round. For example, if your draw amount is nine and you already have two dice in your roll zone, then you will only add seven more from your draw zone to your roll zone. Uh, if you need to draw more dice but do not have any in your draw zone, move all your dice from your discard to your draw zone and continue. So just think of it like a bag, mm -hmm. right? If you're or a deck, right? If it's out, then you move it. Mm -hmm. uh, roll. So you're gonna take all your dice in your roll zone. You're gonna roll them. Then you're gonna check if you bust. If you roll any hits, proceed to step three. If all of your results are misses, you might bust. 
You're ri you risk busting only if you ever had at least three dice in your active. Or if you already risked busting during the current roll phase. When you risk busting and your roll results in all misses, then you bust and your roll phase is over. So a hit and a miss, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Put something on it, it's a hit. Uh, move it's a hits miss. to active zone. Move okay. all your hits to the active zone on your player board and leave misses in your roll zone. You must now choose to push or pass. If you choose to push, go back and roll again. Mm -hmm. However, if, if you have three or more dice, this is when you could risk busting. Mm -hmm. So when there's three or more and you're active, that's when you can bust. If you choose to pass, then you are done with the roll phase. Flip your token over uh, to signal that you're going to the run phase. Wait until all players have completed roll and enter the run phase. Oh, so it's simultaneous? Yes, it's oh. all simultaneous. So we ro we do our stuff, and then once you've decided to stop, we, we will go to the next phase. Mm -hmm. In this manner, you continue until either you pass or bust. Eventually, all players will have either passed or bust. Busting. If you bust, complete the following. Move all your dice from active to discard, so just they go away. As a bonus, you may move any dice from your roll zone to your discard zone. Any dice you, that you do not discard stay there for the next round. Advance your runner one space on the fan track and then gain whatever's shown. Your roll phase is now over. Roll phase timing rule. Most of the time, players can resolve entire roll phase simultaneously and independent of each other. Occasionally, players may wish to wait and see what other players do before choosing to push or pass. In these cases, the player with the most dice in their roll zone must act first. If two or more players are tied for the most dice, then break the tie in clockwise order with the person who has the starting player. So draw amount, you start with nine, you have hand tokens, which permanently increase the number you can do, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. Red lines on the board. Your draw amount temporarily increases for each red line on the racetrack, you're currently behind the, the lead runner. Ah, um, so kind of like tails. Like, yes, in Quacks of Quedlinburg, like the rat tails. Got it. Uh, cool. Run phase, so after we've done our rolling, we go to run. So the run phase begins after all players have completed the roll and flipped their tokens over. During the run phase, you must complete the following steps in order. Use abilities, resolve, determine total. Players may use any run abilities they have and wish to use. When all players are ready, they compare the total number of fight in their active zone, resolve the effect of the red card. Red card's up there. So Mr. Soldier. the person who has the most um, gains all that stuff and then loses a um red die a red die if they have it or you can only do that if you have a red die well you're only going to roll those swords if you've purchased red dice got it got it um move for every foot you have you may move your runner one space on the racetrack mm -hmm. you may spend four uh money or credits to gain a foot there's no limit you may spend okay um if you space already has a runner you may move into the space normally other runners do not block your movement do not, you do not have to use all of your foot, your feet, however, they're lost, if you don't. If you end your move in a reward space uh, and you didn't start the round in that space, you gain it, okay? Makes mm -hmm. sense, right? You got a bunch of credits on the board. Uh, and some of these will let you actually coal uh, dice, which is nice. You're gonna get to coal things out of your deck, so to speak. Then we get to buy. You may spend some or all of your credits or money and buy new dice. Uh, Okay, I already talked about that. The cost to buy dice listed in the upper right. You may buy, okay, so you may buy up to two dice every round. If you buy two dice, they must be different. Got you it. can't buy two of the same. Mm -hmm. When you buy a die, it goes into your discard. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Discard, move all your dice from active to discard. Do not discard your dice in your roll zone because you didn't roll them, right? Or whatever you chose not to stays there. Then flip your phase token over to the green. You must wait until all players have completed run and flip their phase token. When all players have completed their run phase, pass the starting die to the next player, then all players proceed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Most of the time, this is a, this is gonna be a completely simultaneous game. Cause yeah. this even says here, most of the time players can resolve entire move by discard simultaneously. Mm -hmm. uh, but it does say that like if there's only one of a die left, then that's when you would need to wait because yeah. that is gonna go to the to the starting Because you take turns, yeah. Um, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, space descriptions. So you've got like standard terrain. Well, I think it's uh, water can't be all... moved into. It, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can't move into water. Uh, reward spaces. You gain those things. So these are fans. Whenever you see the, you get to move. Oh, okay. And then that, that gives you extra stuff. Okay. Lose a die. 
Take any die of your choice and return it to the tray. Gray dice lost are returned to the box. Uh, there are gain a die. Mm -hmm. I don't think this particular map has any. Oh, there are a couple. Okay. And then some of them will actually have a cost printed on it. So it's like it'll be like gain a not these, but in other maps it'll mm -hmm. say gain a die at that cost, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Movement effects. Uh, I don't see. Do I see any out there? There's shortcuts. There are, do you see any of these shortcuts printed on the board anywhere? No. I don't think so. So we should be good there. There's jet packs mm -mm. and other maps. Man, this game would be awesome with like map packs. Bring it, cause that's all you need, right? Bring out map packs and some new cards and use your dice. That's you awesome. haven't even played it yet, Derek. I know, Chill out. that'd be super cool though. Uh, start and finish space. Same thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. When any runner figure reaches the finish space, it triggers the end of the game and the winner's determined. determined. Okay, I don't understand. The roll on the eye. Like, you were talking about the busting. I don't get that. Go back to that. Okay, go back to that. Cool. That's the only thing I was fuzzy on. Sure. Okay. So what's going to happen is uh, you're going to draw. Okay, you're I had gonna... nine dice. I roll my dice. Uh, yes. Okay. So you have to move over to your... You can't choose not to. Yep, you have yep. to do nine you dice, have to roll right? Dice. Yes. Uh, then you roll them. So you would roll them. So, like, just let me see if I can do a little... I know how to roll dice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I know. But, like... So then basically what would happen here is if you roll any hits, proceed to three. Okay. So then I did proceed to, proceed three. to three, phase three. Oh, okay. So then I have a hit, which goes into my active uh -huh. pool. Now I choose to push or pass. Well, I'm going to go again. Okay. So if you roll so and you don't have any hits. Let's say okay. I did this. Let's say I did this. Okay. This is a bust. You kept saying proceed to three, and I didn't understand oh, what you proceed were talking step about. Three, step three. You just kept saying three, and so I was like, do you have to have three, three in thing. the active? Okay. That's the whole thing Sorry. that I totally was like, that I don't get what you're talking fuzzy. about. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I ain't no Rodney Smith. Okay. No, I know. I know who I married. <laughs> What's up? Question? Do you have a question? So I can choose nine dice. This counts as a die? No, it does not count as your nine. You just get to roll it okay. as part of your nine. Okay, let's go. Uh, additional rules, the fan track. Uh, some abilities refer to the number of fans you have. I don't know if any of them are out there. Uh, we probably should just read each of those so we all have an understanding before we start. Um, mandatory hits. You must move hits to active zone. When a roll hit, you cannot choose to keep. Like, if you roll a hit, it has to go to active. Mm-hmm. Uh, adding dice, some abilities feature this roll symbol. This means that you select the indicated number of dice from your draw and roll them into your roll. Um, losing dice, active dice, free dice. Some abilities allow you to gain a free die without paying costs. Uh, moving through water, water cannot normally be moved into, but some abilities allow you to. Uh, busting with fewer dice if you push with at busting. least... If you push with at least three dice already and you're active and risk busting, you risk busting each time you push for the remainder. Yeah, basically just don't buff. And then each of these each of these cards has a uh, a rule on it. Like if you have questions, that's super cool. All right, let's do it. You ready? We have rock on. It says active. If you push, you may first move this die to your roll zone before you roll. Mm -hmm. Mr. Soldier, compare the most swords and do we that stuff. Rich Dog is gain three coin, lose this die, yep. not optional. Um, Roll Rollosaurus is gain four, four movement. Um, mm. Reckless Cheese, each time you push and do not bust, gain one foot and use it immediately. Smelly, Smelly Cat, Cat is gain two, two feet. feet. Dugout is three of that like bouncing die thing. It's so like three dice from your draw zone, zone and roll, roll them, them into in. your roll zone, then move any hits to your active zone. That's cool. And Bob is after your move step, gain one reward space that is one or two spaces away. Ooh. I like it. Okay, are we ready? I like it. Let's go. All right, roll your bones. I'll move this down. Okay. Okay. Ready? Oh, we could, you just, oh, okay. you just go. Just, okay. I'm choosing to stop. I'm passing. So I'm flipping to run phase. Okay, now I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> so these would stay. No, no. no. So does uh, it go to discard? I believe they go to discard, but that's you know until we get this down, I think that's solid. So roll. Um, if you choose to pass, you're done. Flip your face token over. Wait until all players have 
completed roll in this manner you continue okay all right move all dice from active zone to your oh yeah yeah so they stay it stays there even if oh, okay. yeah they're just not they're just not hits got it yeah okay okay so you are so then we just go is it you can start anywhere or do we like is you can start like anywhere on the starting nope it's not seated i didn't see anything that said it was seated okay so i have two movement one two i just have one so and then I have, can I have two credits please thank you i have five money i also so i'm gonna get uh i'm gonna purchase a rich dog i'm gonna totally take a bob and i'm gonna pay three or four. i could get a smelling cat no a mr soldier how much oh. is the breakfast cheese over there? Uh, ten. ten. Yeah, it's fine. So this goes in my discard. Yep. Okay. Okay. So and then discard. So uh, we resolve, we move, we buy, we discard, we move everything back to the draw. that was here back to draw, so, and, then and then you, then you choose get nine. To move. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. So this. Oh, okay, so that's the thing. You only roll the start die once. It's the die, so you can choose to push it or not. Right. Oh, I busted! Hold on a second. So I okay, don't get to so do anything, right? Let's go to busting. So, if you bust, um, you risk busting only if you have, you have at least three dice and you're active. Yeah. Okay. I must move all to all dice discard. from active to discard. As a bonus, you may move any dice from your roll zone to your discard zone. Any dice you do not discard in your roll zone stay there for the next round. Advance your runner one space one uh, your runner figure one space on the track and gain what's listed. So oh, so I go on the fan track. Yeah, you go on the fan track. So now I am confused. It says you may move any dice from your roll zone to your discard zone. I thought it just got automatically sent over there, anyways. Are you not rolling all? You are rolling all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Give me the summary. The summary? Yeah. You look at the summary. Go through the roll roll phase summary. Move all your hits to the active zone. Oh, leave misses in your roll zone. There it is. So your misses would have stayed in your roll zone. Mm. So those stay in your roll zone. And that's what it's saying if you bust, it says you can choose to move them, to all, move over. them all over to discard. Did ah. it say all of them? Or it says you may move any dice from roll to discard. That way you could move, okay. So if there's a good that color you really wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I would mm -hmm. move them all to discard. Boo, yep. okay. So like Go for these, I'm, I'm keeping those there, you mm -hmm. know? And then you'll just add to them next time? And then I'll just add to them next time, because they're not hits. So I need two mm -hmm. credits, please. Mm -hmm. um, it says the most gains two three credits. credits. Mm -hmm. Are those money or credits? Are, are they the same thing or are they different? Oh, that is just money. That's this just is a money, credit. yeah. You know what, I still need those two though, because the soldier die says gain three credits and gain two, but I lose the red die. Two feet. Yep. Okay, so I've got two feet to use. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna go one, two, three. That's gonna let me lose a die. Uh, I'm gonna lose it from here. Why are you doing that? Oh. I went over the lose a die. Uh, what? How did you get two? Oh, so two from there? Yeah, two from there. That's it. I but only had two movement. you went three. Oh, did I go three? Yeah. One, two. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Over there trying to cheat. I'm gonna take Smelly Cat. What are you? There you, you? Go. <laughs> All right, nine. Okay. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ready? Hey, I got my Smelly Cat activated. I feel like we should have gotten that. Uh oh, I busted. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try one more time. Don't feel me. So everything goes over here. I go here. Stay here. Okay. And I'm fine with that. 
So after you move, gain one reward space that is like one or two a, away. Uh, okay. Dice tray. So or one, two, three, four, five. So I can spend four to move one. Yes, you can, you can spend one credit. Yep, you can spend four. And then after I money. move, I can gain one reward space that is one or two spaces away. So that's one away. So that's gonna give me a second credit. Nice. Right. And that leaves me with one. Credit. Oh, because you're moving on the fan track. What? Is that what you just said? What? No. Oh, how did you gain that second credit? I guess is what I was asking about. So I moved one. Uh huh. To here. Uh huh. And then this says, after you move, gain one reward space that is one or two spaces away. Oh, that's so, that so is next cool. To me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you can spend four coins yeah. mm -hmm. to pay for movement. Mm hmm. So that's. You sure can. Cool. So what do credits do? You can hold them over, it's money. But, but they're you, money the, that you can save. Correct. Got those it. are the only things you can save. All right, okay, so I get first player. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you ready? Don't forget, did you have to draw from your discard? Your yeah, disc all your discard goes to your draw. Card. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so because I have three in my active, I bust? Or is it more than three? No, it's three. If you have at least. <laughs> okay. So I have three feet and one money. So I will use my three feet. I'll go one, two, three. I need two credits and I get to get rid of a die. So I see going, get, getting rid of these gray dice is what's causing me to bust. I'll get rid of those. Yeah, one, right. two, three, four, five, six, seven for dugout. Mm hmm. Add dug out to my discard pile. Mm -hmm. These all slide over. You get the first player. And let's go. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do that. There this we go. Made a bust, so I should. All right. I'm gonna stop. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pass. Also stop. Okay, so I get to move one. Uh, so I activate the smelly cat, which lets me have three. Uh, gain two, one, two, gain a fan. And I will take a red. Then the die. rich dog says what? Gain three money and lose the die? And lose the die. So three, four, five. I'll use my credit. So I have five to gain Bob. Mm -hmm. Bob the builder. Okay. Uh, hold on. And then... I've got, I activated Dugout. So Dugout says roll, immediately roll three dice from your draw zone into your roll zone, then move any hits to your active. Nope, none. Okay. okay. That's it? Yep, that's it. There you go. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. You ready? I am ready. You did pretty quick. I love this already. Oh man, I got close to busting there. Oh what are the odds? Man, I need to add some better odd dice to my, I'm gonna stop. Because right now a lot of my stuff is like one, yes. two out of six. That was really risky for me. Okay, but I have so one, I two, have three, one. four, five. Okay. What's Bob say? Bob, I get to move, after your move step, gain a reward space within two. I'm gonna gain another fan. I'm gonna spend four. And I'm gonna get, to go oh, one. I increased my hand size. And can I get a credit please? What's in this? Okay, I am also using Bob and that, so this is within two. So I also go, so that gives me one credit. Uh huh. Which also gives me. Can four. I buy anything for two? I can, I can get Rich Dog. Oh, that's an no-brainer for me. One, two, three, four. I've increased to rolling 10 dice now. Wow, well, aren't you special? <laughs> okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. Is this yours? No, I just gave it to you. Five, six. I guess seven. we should be flipping this token over, but we kind oh, of both. One, two, three, just, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight. There's only two players nine. that feel like we know when we're ready. But we really shouldn't move into that till we're both ready. Okay. If we're going by the rules. Wow, okay. Um, so I can use green because it says if I'm going to push my luck, which I'm going to push my luck, I can move this into my roll zone uh, before I roll. So. Okay. One more. 
Oh, I almost bucked it. That <gasps> oh my scary. goodness, that's amazing. I'm passing, so I will flip over to roll. Or flip over to run. Unless I did that wrong. I might have done that wrong. What was the green? So it says... So if you push, uh -huh. you may first move the green die to your roll zone before you roll. I don't know what that means. Hold on, hold on. Let's read the rule. I might have done it wrong. Well, Rock On specifically says... The active ability is ongoing and may be used each time you push. When you use the main ability and push during your roll, first move the shield from active zone to your roll mm. zone. The shield will be rolled along with all other dice in your roll zone. Rolling more dice increases your chance of a hit and avoids busting. Mm, so okay. it helps you so stop I busting. So I did it wrong. That's okay. That's okay, it but now that we know. That yeah, have... now that we know though. Okay, so I have Are two you going movement. to run phase? Yes. Okay, so I am gonna activate Bob. So we're both step. going at the same time, right? So I have yeah. two movement. One, two. Um, so I have... Dugout activated and says I get to select three dice from your draw zone and roll them in immediately. One is one. Oh, okay, I didn't this. get anything. Wait, I have a red die, so that gives me three credits and two movements. So I'm going to go... Uh -huh. And then you lose the red dice. One, um, two. Bob's going to activate after your move step. Oh, where do I lose from? What? If I lose a die, where do I lose from? From anywhere. Active, it doesn't matter. I can just I think so. Run. Just checking. And then I gain three. So three credits. The lose die uh, allows you to lose a die when you lose. Take it from any zone. Okay. Uh, so three credits. Unless plus otherwise stated. The one I have, it should just accidentally like, flip. So I should definitely buy something. Let me get two. I'm gonna get another okay, fan. Gonna Can I get two credits, please? Two, use this one and one to do this. You want two credits? Yeah, please. I suppose. Uh, okay. And then I've got I've got four to use. Uh, I'm gonna get the rock on. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? I suppose. Are you done? Yes. So we move over to run or roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, nice. I'm also going to stop and go to run. I'm going to move. So, dugout, I'm going to roll three dice immediately. One. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was After awesome. After I move, I can gain a reward that is one or two space away. I'm going to take the. After I move, two so I'm going to move credits. one space, get two credits, please. And I'm going to activate Bob to lose a die. Mm -hmm. I'm going to so get rid one, of two, one of those. Can I get uh, two credits, three, please? Four, Watch, excuse me. Sorry. Five. Uh, Smelly Cat gives die. me two run, you know what? so gonna... get, get rid of another die, Can you not um, over? and gain a fair, a fan, which gives me another two credits. Okay. Are we ready? No, I haven't finished purchasing now. So three, four, five, two. six, seven, eight. So I have eight. Uh, I'm oh, going to grab... I need to lose this one because I got the three. Yep, thanks for reminding me. Mm. Eight, I'm going to grab a smelly cat, or a Mr. Soldier and a smelly cat. Wait, wait, wait. That's when you do the run, so that is when you get the symbol. I didn't get the symbol, I got the three. What? Okay, so this run is that symbol, right? Mm, I think it's just whenever it gets activated. I don't think so. You don't think so? Who's that? That is Rich Dog. When you use the ability gain three, you must then lose the dog symbol and return it to a straight. Oh, correct. Yeah, so we're only activating this if you roll their face. Yes, yeah, so if I just roll the three, yep. I don't. Okay, because yep. I rolled the three, not the face. The the face is what is activating it. Yes. Yeah, so like the swords, if you roll it, activates it. Otherwise, yeah. that's why they're saying like there are other, you know, yes, other, there are other symbols. Yep. That's what I was saying. Yep. Cool. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, are we so ready? So that's yours. I think we are going to be ready. I need to refresh dice. Seven, eight. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Yes. 
Don't forget to split to the roll phase. Okay, start again. Active. Um, so Wait. that lets me re-roll that. Okay. Um. I just those tiny in my hand. They are really little. Okay. Cat. Oh man, I'm gonna stop, but I really wanted to keep going, but I just don't feel good about okay. it. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Okay. Okay. So I have three feet. So the cat lets me gain two movement. One, One two, two, three. I get to lose a die. Okay. Um, and then I have two, um, four, five. I have Bob. I'm gonna lose another die. I'm gonna get the cat for five. And the cat is gonna give me uh, two more runs. So. One, two. All right, let's flip those over. Those go there, and I need to. I've got five and five, so I'm rolling all the dice I have. Can okay. I have the first player mark? Oh, I suppose I can give that to you. Thank you. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, so I don't get to refresh any because I have no. Oh, no, look at that dice. roll. Um. Okay. One. If I keep going. Yeah, I might as well because I could say literally nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna stop, but I don't get anything from that. You know what? I'm gonna stop though. Well, if I bust, hmm. If I bust, uh, I okay. actually I'm gonna keep going because busting would actually give me an extra to my. Okay, well I didn't bust unfortunately, but yeah. it's strategically I could bust to get another permanent hand upgrade, but I'm not going. Okay, to. I have two movements, so I'm gonna go one, two. I have one, two, three, and then I have four movement. Three, but I gotta one, lose the dog. Three, four, four. Lose a die. Uh, five with this. Dugout doesn't activate. I have uh, two. It's going to give four, me five. A smelly cat. I'm getting a smelly cat, and then I'm gonna purchase two, three, uh, three, four, five. I'm going to get a. Bob with credits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you ready? I am ready. That goes to you. Okay. So these can come here. back. So I have five, one, two, three. Look over the roll. Ten. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Active. 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 Oh, okay. Um, I'm really gonna. So if I bought, so if you push, you may first move this to okay, your roll zone stop. before you roll. Okay. Stop. That's why I got rid of most have, of them. So I have one. I have two, three. Two, three, four movements. So one, two, three. One. Two, three, four. Okay. Um, and then I have four money to use. I also have four money. I'm gonna spend one of it and get a smelly cat. Like a credit plus the four. Get a smelly cat. I guess I should have flipped this over. <laughs> I'm gonna spend two on a rich dog. And then I guess I'm gonna lose the other two. You can't buy two the same. All right. So six. Seven, eight. Here, this is yours. Yep. Let's do this. Ready? Let's do this. Eight. Okay, that was an awful roll. Okay, so if I only have one active, I can keep rolling. It doesn't bust, correct? Yeah, that's not a bust. It's only if you have, it's only if you have three. Okay. So after this, I would bust. So. Oh! Oh my goodness, it was like the best roll I've ever had in this game. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stop. Okay, so I have three feet. Going to the run phase. I've got so, one, two, three feet. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. And then I'm I have gonna pay a sword. Do you have a sword? Four. What? Do you have a sword? No, I do not. Okay. I'm gonna pay four for one more movement. I gain three credits. I gain two points of movement. I lose the soldier die. 
Uh, Bob activates. I'm going to go within two spaces and get four more credits. Um, I have three credits. I'm going to spend four credits for a movement space. Oh my goodness. Stop. I'm going to spend four credits for a move. And I can't spend any more. That's it. How much money did you have saved up? What are you doing over there? Saving a lot of money. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So this all refreshes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ready? So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't go to the run phase until we finish the roll phase. I don't, I was just trying to figure out if I'm gonna continue rolling or not. I will not, Okay. but we do need to make sure that we- Okay, one, two, three. One, one two, two, three, within three, one, I'm going to lose four, the gray die. Five. I win, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> So four is gonna give me another movement. And two is gonna give me a rich job. Um, let me just look. End of the game. When any figure reaches the finish space, it triggers the end. Finish playing the current round, and the game ends, and the winner is determined. If a player's figure reaches the finish space and still has remaining movement, they move to the start space and continue moving from there. In case that's that's how the tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. If only one player reaches the finish during a round, they win and become the Cubido's champion of the world. Okay, two or more, it's after you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So within five. This is really fun. It was fun. This was <laughs> super duper fun. If oh my gosh. Why do, oh my word, why did we wait so long to play this? Because we have so many games we need to play <laughs> and we can only manage so many. Oh man, look. So like, okay, so you got Batter Beaver. So a lot of these so they tie go by into color. the same. So yeah, they go by color. So, so that's grays. Yeah. That's white. Oh my gosh. There's so many cards. Broken cow. Fat cat. Gain one, gain a gray. So this gives you gray, but then gives you three. So like this kind of dilutes your deck, but also like makes it, it better. It moves you faster, but then you're gonna kind of slow down. <laughs> the cheese stands alone, the big cheese. Uh, Later cheesing. You know what that makes me think? What? We totally should have stopped at the Mars Cheese Castle the last time we were in Wisconsin. I said, we were in Wisconsin. Um, I said, the no. Mars Cheese you Castle. You know what we're though? We're going by. I drove in the rain and you were sleeping. That's true, I was asleep. You was asleep, guys. I, I drove asleep. back from Wisconsin by myself. And I, I waved I, at the cheese castle as it went by. Myself. No. Was I incapacitated? Yes. Okay. You were not conscious, so by myself stands. So then I'm assuming then what you would do would be to, like, to clean this up. You would just... Do it uh, in the Not pop that, but just like that. Yeah. Or they might just all go in that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that's for. I don't know. This might be for cards. Why would they have that huge thing for cards? No, they're not gonna, no. Why would you put a box in another box? <laughs> What's in the box? What? What'd you think about the game? I like the shoe look. Yeah. I always do too much. I like it too. Was like, I only busted a few times, but once I figured out that I needed to start I patting, busted, like I the smelly cats, because there were three, this is a 50-50, 50-50. Yeah. Um, I never, I could have spent to get a Rollosaurus, but, but that's that a one in six yeah, chance. I was like, eh. I kind of wanted the the cheese one, but I never had enough credits. Like the Rollosaurus. I should have been better about trying to I land on the loop. I was rid of all You did, at the beginning, you went like further around, yeah. but you got rid of too many and that really helped you and I really should have done that. So that's super cool how those just fit all that and then you can just put all the way. Uh, I really like the fan track and how when you busted, you could get bonuses from that. You were supposed to move up when you busted? Yes. I busted all the time. I only moved once. Yeah, you were supposed to move up when we busted. So, so I missed that. You, you missed... did not help me at all. I didn't so know you were I... busting. What do you mean you didn't know I was busting? You saw me not doing anything. <laughs> this is a game. Yeah, well, so... okay. If you bust, you it's move up on the fan track. Oh no, it's, it's a win. It's uh, a win. No, I beat the socks I off. Had, you. 
higher hand. I would have been able to roll more, and I would have had more credits. That's why you were able to get all those credits. Uh, no, actually, well, yes, yes, but that was because I was going over the fans, not because no, I was busting. But, like, not I should have been way higher. My oh, fans here. loved me, okay? Okay, whatever. No, yeah, this was super fun. Here's a green if you're one. a fan of Quacks of Quedlinburg, if you're Here's a, a fan, one. You just, it's like, fine. I'm not going to put it away right now. I'm just kind of, like, talking. You're putting it away right now. If you're a fan of Quacks, you need to go play this game. Uh, you need to find yeah. a copy of this, and you need to play it, because this might... Man, I need to play Quacks um, again, but different vibe though. It's totally different vibe. Different it's, vibe. It is much a much different vibe. But there's something to be said about rolling dice. I agree, but there's also something to be said for the geek bits in the bag and Oh, I'm g i am I got you. I'm not saying this replaces Quacks, because I don't think it that's does. Literally, we're just kind no, of insinuating. That's not what I'm insinuating. Okay, that's what I was saying that I, I think I might enjoy this more than Quacks. Not that I would get rid of Quacks. I, I, I don't know really if I like the more, dice rolling. But I also lost and forgot a roll, so. If you were to play this again, I think you'd do really well. Oh, um, I'm and it sure was I would really do really close well. Anyways. It was really close. Anyways. Obviously, I would do really Obviously. well. Obviously. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on, David. Come anyways. On, David. So, what do we think, rule book? Um, well. I don't know if you missed anything. You missed a couple triggers, but I don't know if you messed up any rules. I think this is very clear with what happens. Roll your dice, active, hits go here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I I felt like the rule book was laid out really well. I will say what I really appreciated was going to the back of the rule book mm -hmm. and having all of all these. Like, because you yeah, had questions great. about the characters, right? And we're yeah. like, okay, so what does that mean? And having the additional rules is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, for sure, for sure. I am really excited to try the other maps. Look at these. Yes. Because they're double sided. So yeah, so both this maps one, are double -sided. nothing goes right. Okay, just throw it at me. Um, so and then, then got, like, this is called this. This testing teleporting. the water. This one goes. This is much longer map. Look at this one. So if you hit this, you pay 13 and it teleports you. But then you gain eight? Yeah. Or you gain a die, and you you pay eight to gain a die? I'm trying to figure out which way we're going. We're going this way. No, start is here. So, so you can go you either way. Here, yeah, so you could come down here to do 13. Oh, man, that'd be tough. You would have to have it so early. Yeah. This one's cool. This is... You have to have But six. if you go here, you can go double, lose two. Yeah. These you maps are really like, cool. Look at this one. Really Oh, commit. man, look at that. Oh, yikes. The art and the colors are super vibrant. I really appreciate that. Yeah, you didn't have rulebook. any trouble with any of the didn't colors. Have any trouble. Yeah. Uh, rulebook really laid out very, very well. Again, I have never had issues with AEG games. Um, so true. I think I think it was awesome. Oh, look it. Box assembly. Yeah, the box. I know, we talked about that earlier. I know, we talked about it, but I didn't see it. I'm not sure what to do. I'm guessing we just put the gray dice back inside the bag. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be a monster and just put them all in the same bag. Yep, graphic design, Matt Paquette. Did Matt do it? Oh, wow. Matt. I knew it. Well done, my friend. Well done on the graphic design. And, and John DeClaire did a great job. Phil Hill? Glofchesky. So it must oh, have been Phil a team effort. Team, team, team effort. But. Art direction by Josh Wood. Uh, super awesome job. Okay, this is another one of those, like... Kind of niche, kind of weird. Quirky, right? Quirky we theme. just talked about this today I mean, in our live stream about queer. It's a racing games. game, but it's like super funky. It's very funky. But I tell you what, AEG does funky really well. <laughs> they do. They do. They they really do. But they like not all their games are funky, but the ones that are funky are pretty funky. But they're they're really good. Right. But the Fortress is just like a classic, abstract, very. Sure. Straightforward, you know. Yeah. And then they have some like high fan. They have a very. They have diverse, an eclectic, diverse, very catalog. diverse catalog. Because when you thinking, think about Mystic Veil, vale, you yeah, think about um, like the um, darkness, the edge of darkness, edge of darkness. You've got uh, that's the very pirates like, game coming out. Like, yeah, there's a lot. What's of that other that huge big up? box game that smash we did what? from them? It was like the dungeon crawly AEG game. We covered it. Don't remember. Huge box. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't remember it. Yeah. Anyways, 
Thank you so much for watching this uh, crazy, weird, new... Our learn how to play on the spot. this review game that we did get from AG. It yeah, is a this game. is a review game. Thank you so much to AG for screening this. Um, but our honest opinions are that we really liked it. I, yeah. I had a lot of fun with this, and it's easy enough to where I would pull this out and, and play with uh, a newer player. Uh, the boxes were a little difficult to I put would together. Say a newer player, probably not as oh. an intro intro game, probably not the first game we teach them, but if they are enjoying yeah. gaming, it would be an earlier one. Sure. Um, they don't all fit, do they? What? They do not. I'm not sure what's supposed to happen there. Maybe uh, some of them were supposed to be Maybe you're supposed to like, take the dot. I don't know. Either way, thank we'll you for watching, and we will figure out how to get all this monstrosity back in the box. And we will see you next time on our On The Spot series. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everybody. Bye.